So in this video, I'm going to be adding weight to this plastic straw bridge that I made for a science project. And I'm going to be adding weight to it and see how much it can resist. So let's get started. Like I said, I made this plastic bridge for a science project in school and it was um, a pretty in-depth project. What I did was I tested to see if this side of the bridge was stronger or having it like this. So what I did was I added weight to the bridge a few times and then measured how much it sank and then I did it to the other side like this and measured and put weight on it and measured how much it sunk into the down to the earth. And I did that um, quite a few times and I didn't change the weight and stuff. I just did it for see how much um, one side sank versus the other to see if it was strong if it was better to have a bridge like this or to have it like this with the like the trusses underneath. I made a poster showing my work. I called it triumphant trusses and I had information and graphs and various info for it. It was a cool project I did and but now I want to see how much weight they can actually resist and see how much you can hold before it actually falls or breaks so let's get into it I'm going to be using all these metal pieces for construction I'm going to be using this as my weights and I have a scale right here that I can use to see how much they weigh and then I'll first do it this side of the bridge and then I'll do it like this and I'll keep adding weight till they break or fall down or something so let's begin we're gonna start with about three ounces and I'm gonna just place them on top of the bridge so we have three ounces or 3.2 ounces to begin with and so let's keep adding more Seven point nine ounces. Eleven point one ounces total. Eight point eight plus eleven point one. So now it's twenty eight point eight ounces. Another 8.9, so now it's 46.6 ounces. I may have held more if I would have put it more strategically on the weights, but now let's try the other side. Let's see if this side is stronger or if it's not. Starting with 8.8 ounces. Another 8.9 ounces. Another 8.9. About 9.1 ounces. About 9.1 ounces. So 
as you can see, it could only hold, a, it couldn't hold quite that much, but it, it did pretty well. Not, not too shabby. So let's total them up and see how much they compared against to each other. So, the truss bridge up like this held about 46.6 ounces, uh, approximately. Now it might have held more if I would have pressed it more strategically, but it held actually less than having it like this, and having it like this, it held 62.6 ounces approximately. Now these results contradict what I had calculated before in my research project because this side was actually supposed to be stronger than this side, so it's so it's probably because this bridge isn't made perfectly and um, the weights haven't been um, strategically placed as well maybe. But this was fun to experiment with and try out. So it's amazing how trusses really help a bridge stay stronger, especially since these are plastic straws. So not a, a huge amount of weight, but it's still pretty cool to me. If you have, if you like this video. Um, please leave a like and a comment and tell me what I sh should do next or should have done with this bridge. And thank you so much for watching.